Hello, Solomon Crow here. Why are you doing this video? Are you trying to become a political activist? I came here for the anime and video game reviews. I mean, are you trying to make people angry? Those are all very good questions. I'm not trying to persuade anyone with this video. This is only a one-time thing, so I hope you forgive me for this change of content. I want to start off by saying that I respect all religions. I won't try to force you to believe anything, and whatever you wish to believe is okay. This is only why I personally don't believe in any religions. I have to say that religions in general are beneficial. Most religions spread values and beliefs which are for the good of society, such as being kind and generous to those who are disadvantaged, which have spurred the growth of charities and non-profit organizations, such as Salvation Army. At the same time, I believe that you can still maintain these values without religion, but it is good that religions encourage them. So why don't I believe in any religion? Let's cut to the chase. If God is all-knowing and wants the best for us, why are so many people allowed to suffer? Why do so many people die of famine, floods, and disasters? Why does he, she, or it allow child sexual abuse? Why doesn't the God tell each one of us completely and verifiably that this religion is real to save us from the suffering of not knowing? The problem with religions is that they do a lot of dodgy things, such as persuade you to donate all your life savings in the name of God. Moreover, a lot of what is in religious texts is not true from our scientific understanding. The Bible says that stars fell out from the sky when God said so, when with our current knowledge, we cannot find any evidence of that. Instead, what we theorize currently is that there was a big, the big bang and the subsequent expansion of the universe. Now, why is this? Because the Bible and various religious texts reflected the beliefs of the time. And when the Bible was created, that's what scientific knowledge said, that stars fell from the sky. Religions ask you to have faith, but where's the evidence? Now, the problem with faith is that I could say absolutely anything and ask you to have faith in it. You see, when I wanted to cut myself, when I wanted to kill myself, no one was there for me. Not God, nothing, no one. I had to pull myself slowly and painfully out of that dark hole with my own will. When I called out for help, no one answered me. There was no one else. There was only me. No matter how much I wished that someone would save me, it never happened. I had to save myself. And I think it comes down to this. We all want to believe that there is something after death, that there's something else other than nothing. Because when you die, you stop feeling, you stop thinking, you stop existing. Pain would be better than death. At least it's something. You and all the idiosyncrasies and nuances which compose you will die and you will be forgotten. The one conclusion we never want to think about is that there's nothing left. Derek Muller said something similar, that nihilism is freeing. And I agree. It's freeing because every second becomes infinitely more precious, because the time span you have is so short. Death is approaching. There is a certain freedom because you determine your ultimate face, fate. No one else, nothing else. If you have something you want to do, get to doing it because there's no better time than now. And that's about it. Apologies for the change in content today. Thank you for being here. You are my lifeblood. Solemn Crow, out.